UK Chief of Defense permanently restricts Prince Harry from using public security, court case dismissed. In a shocking turn of events, the United Kingdom's Chief of Defense has issued a permanent order barring Prince Harry from accessing any public security resources. This unprecedented decision comes on the heels of a high-profile court case, which has now been swiftly dismissed by the presiding judge. The story begins with Prince Harry's relentless pursuit of restoring his right to paid police protection during his visits to the UK. The former royal had argued that his family's safety was at risk without such security measures in place. However, the UK government had maintained that Harry's decision to step down as a senior royal member had forfeited his entitlement to taxpayer-funded protection. Tensions escalated as the prince took legal action, determined to challenge the government's stance. The case drew widespread media attention, with both sides presenting their arguments before the courts. The stakes were high, as the outcome would not only impact Harry's personal security, but also set a precedent for other members of the royal family. But in a surprising twist, the chief of defense has now interceded, invoking his authority to override the court proceedings. In a strongly worded statement, the chief cited matters of national security as the driving force behind this decision leaving the public to speculate on the underlying reasons. This is an unprecedented move, and it serves as a clear message that the UK's security apparatus is unwilling to bend to the demands of even the most prominent individuals, commented a former intelligence officer, speaking on condition of anonymity. The chief's decision has sent shockwaves through the royal establishment and the public alike. Many are questioning the implications of this action, with some expressing concerns about the erosion of democratic principles and the concentration of unchecked power within the military. It's a worrying precedent, said political analyst Dr. Emily Hastings. The chief of defense is essentially overriding the judicial process, which raises serious questions about the balance of power and the rule of law in our country. The dismissal of the court case has also fueled speculation about the true nature of the security threat that the government perceives. Some have suggested that there may be more to the story than meets the eye with whispers of potential intelligence breaches or national security risks that the public is not privy to. However, the government has remained tight-lipped, refusing to provide any further details or explanations for the chief's decision. This only serves to deepen the mystery and stoke the public's curiosity. Supporters of Prince Harry have condemned the move, accusing the government of using national security as a convenient excuse to punish the former royal for his decision to step away from the monarchy. They argue that the prince's safety and that of his family should be the primary concern, regardless of his status or past actions. This is an abuse of power, plain and simple, said one vocal supporter. The government is using its authority to silence a member of the royal family and deny him the basic right to protect himself and his loved ones. It's a disgraceful display of vindictiveness. The fallout from this decision is likely to be far-reaching with potential ramifications for the royal family's public image and the UK's global standing. The question remains, will this be a watershed moment that sparks a broader debate about the limits of executive power and the role of the military in domestic affairs? As the dust settles, one thing is clear. The saga surrounding Prince Harry's security battle has taken an unexpected and dramatic turn, leaving the public to ponder the true motivations behind the Chief of Defense's unprecedented intervention.